Hello everyone. Today we're going to make pinwheel bookmarks. They look like this. Here's one. It says, prove them wrong, can't top this, you're doing great. And it has some flowers, some um, book text, and then some deer in a garden. It's cute, useful, fun to make. I love this project. I've made so many of them. I think I originally got it from uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost. I'm not sure it's been so long. I've been making them for a while. The first thing I'm going to do is take one of these junk mail uh, postcards and cut it into strips. I cut it into strips of one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch. Let me just reach my knife here. And um, then you can cut it into whatever height you need. Just keep in mind your the, uh, the height of your journal that you're gonna put it in. So let's cut a one inch strip first. Okay, now a one and a half inch. Okay, and then a two inch. Save that strip for something else. Okay, so we've got our strips of paper here. And then I'm gonna cut them down to size and I'm gonna do it the same size as this other bookmark. So I'm just going to cut it down to here. Maybe just a little taller because I always end up trimming them up, it seems like. Okay. And then the next thing I wanna do is cover the pieces. Now, I picked out some pages from a garden book. I really love to do these colorful, but I'll, I'll do them in the theme of uh, whatever journal I'm working on right now. Um, I'm kind of in between journals, which I'll, I'll bring up again in a minute. But these are the pages I'm going to cover them with. And I think I'll do the book text for the middle size and then the flowers for the other sizes. So I'm gonna do the smaller one in this paper. Pretty pictures on the back too. So I'm just going to use Scotch Create glue stick. Turn this down so it's closer to size. Okay. 
That was a fancy spin there. <laughs> Do it fold over. Okay. Now you can tell I've got that one where it needs to be turned up a little. Okay, so that's pretty already. There's one. We'll do the middle page will be this book text. Try to get that on there straighter. You've got a minute with the Scotch Creek glue stick before it dries all the way, so that's good. I like that about it. Okay, that's better. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. Did some chair yoga this morning. That was fun. I know uh, I've told you before that I have lupus and I'm doing some things to try to deal with that and get, you know, my pain and stuff under control. And chair yoga is uh, really doing the trick for me. It's helping anyway, highly recommend it. Okay. What's that one? And then we'll do this beautiful page here. We'll go for the last one. That's two inches. Turn this down a little. Make sure we've got that all trimmed up. Okay, great, so those are covered. By the way, this is Jennifer from Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Hope you're finding value here today. And if so, please go ahead and hit the like button. Also, I'd like to take a survey on the next journal I'm going to make after my mushroom journal is done. If you would, just leave your choice in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. And the choices are number one, pinup girl journal. Number two, a steampunk journal. Number three, a butterfly journal. Or number four, a music journal. 
So just leave your choice in the comments below and that will help me decide what I'm going to do next. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is round the corners on these with my little corner chomper here. And I'm going to use the um, quarter inch. just didn't round really well so I'm gonna do it myself okay all right so those are rounded now I take these and hold them together and take my crop a dial on the small hole punch and punch in the upper left corner. And it gets through all three of those, no problem. I'm gonna put a small brad in there, a small um, short brad. Let's see what color would go great with this. Yellow would be pretty. Let's see, yellow. Red would be nice. Green would be nice. I think we'll stick with the yellow. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure what I did, but I cut this one way shorter than the other ones, but I'm okay with that. It's still a really cute bookmark. Although my normal ones are all the same length, but it it's really cute. I actually kind of like it like that, so I'm going to leave it that way. What I could do, and it would be super easy, to fix it, if I if I thought it was a problem, would be just cut the other ones off and round the corners again, and then it would be all the same length. But um, I think it looks really cute. I actually think I might start doing them like that because I do like it. So there you have it. Here's what it looks like. I'm not done with it though. I'm going to put a sentiment on it, and you can use, um, lots of times I'll cut out sentiments from book pages or magazines or something like that. But I'm going to look through these Tim Holtz um, quotes that I have and see if I can find something. And I'm thinking maybe in white would look best. So how about, um, hmm. Choose to shine, maybe? Mm. Look on the bright side. I'm gonna put that one because it's such a bright, pretty picture. I'm gonna put a little art glitter glue on it because they're not the stickiest things in the world. that one and then everything has beauty
It's no Bob Ross that says, talks about happy little accidents. That's what I had right there. <laughs> and let's see. It's the little things that make life big. Love that one. So true. Okay, there you have it. Here's what it looks like. Super pretty, really like it. So, okay everyone, that's all for today. Come visit me at my Etsy shop, which is linked below, and take care until next time. Bye everyone.